good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey Louise, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning to each and every one of you. Amen. I just want to share a quick message. Hey Julia, God bless you. Brother Donnell, God bless you, man. Amen. Good to see you all. Amen. Just want to share something really quickly with you. This morning, Angela, God bless you. Amen. Pamela, God bless you. So good to see you all. Hey, Louise, God bless you. Amen. So good to see you all. Amen. Good morning to each and every one of you. And listen, I just want to just take a few moments just to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who wished me a happy birthday, um, you know, uh, during this year's birthday celebration, <laughs> um, being 55 years old. Um, you know, thank you so much for everything that you've done, you know, for those of you who sent in gifts of love and monetary gifts and everything that you did, even the words that were spoken on the various posts that many folks have uh, posted to my page. Um, you know, I'm just so grateful, you know, um, as you guys should be aware, um, I don't do anything for Christ for monetary gifts or for for anything, you know, like if it's, you know, if I'm working a job, you know, then yeah, you know, I expect to get paid, you know, um, you know, but for Christ, I'm looking for the day that the Lord will say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. And so, you know, I am so grateful though. However, I'm grateful that, you know, people, you know, dug in their own pockets and, you know, sent a blessing, no matter how small or, or um, how, how large it was, you know, um, I'm so grateful, you know, it helps me um, in my own life. Um, because many of you know that, you know, I'm a full time pastor. And so as a full time pastor, you know, <laughs> we don't, we don't always, we're not always taking care of like we um, relative to the amount of work that we put in. My church is a good church. You know, they take care of me. Um, they love me. Um, and uh, they do what they can do. You know, they do every single thing that they could do to help. And and I'm honored to, to be their pastor. I'm honored to, you know, um, to serve, you know, underneath them, you know. And it, it just, it's overwhelming to me. It's overwhelming to me that, you know, first of all, that God chose me in, um, to lead people and to lead a church, his church. Um, it also overwhelms me that God has sent people from all over the world, you know, not only in my church, uh, 4 One Vision, but also under 4 One Global, you know, um, which is the online ministry. And how many of you from around the world, from Barbados, Africa, um, Australia, you know, Paris, um, Bermuda, uh, Jamaica, Trinidad, um, Canada, um, Hawaii, you know, people all around the world. Even we have some folks from China, from India, from Pakistan, from Afghanistan. We have people, saints around the world who have poured into me to say thank you. You know, thank you for serving us and happy birthday to you. And those words to me are powerful. It's powerful because sometimes you really don't know the impact that you have on people until you see the results in their lives, right? And so if we're not around each other, if we're not around each other on a daily basis, then, you know, I don't see the results. You know, that's one of the things that I remember um, Billy Graham said years ago. They asked Billy Graham right before he died, they asked him, is there anything that he regretted in ministry? you know, or anything that he wished was better. 
And he said for all the years that he's traveled the world and ministered to so many different people and so many people came to the altar confessing their sins and giving their hearts to the Lord, he has no way of knowing whether those same people stayed with the Lord or, or did they fall back. And so, you know, that was a powerful statement to me that I remember, you know, seeing and hearing. Um, and that, you know, it's true as a pastor, you know, especially those of us who teach online or teach even in the churches and travel around the world, you know, we don't know the extent of our teaching until we see it. That's what even Apostle Paul said. Apostle Paul said that he heard of the love that they had towards each other and the fellowship and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. And it blessed him. It refreshed his heart. And, and it is refreshing to me. It is refreshing to me that when I see people um, around the world, different languages, you know, different languages. And some languages I have to kind of figure out and translate and, you know, and I've learned some languages, right? But, you know, I haven't learned all languages. And so to really take those languages and whether it be Mandarin and translate it to the best of my ability and, and then maybe ask questions, what does this mean? What does that mean? And, you know, and, but it's such a blessing, you know, to see the people of God come together and just, you know, just send love. And, and I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. You know, God knows my heart and he knows my mind and my soul. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that, you know, like I said, said happy birthday or, you know, sent in a monetary gift or a, a gift by itself or a card or, you know, just, you know, a word on Facebook, um, a, a message over Facebook Messenger, a text and message on my phone, email, you know, it's it's overwhelming. It's too many for me to individually say to each and every one of you, thank you and how much your words mean to me. Um, cause it's too many people, you know, and, and I'm afraid that I would, I would miss someone. And so I thought to just come on and personally say, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, I did really nothing. You know, I, all I did is went out and I got something to eat at a restaurant that I never been by the water. Cause y'all know, I love the water and, um, and I just, you know, enjoyed the day. Thank you, Danielle. You know, I love you guys, you know, and had such a wonderful time when I was down in Florida with you guys and stayed with you guys and it felt like home. And so I so appreciate that, um, you know, and it's, you know, it's it's such a blessing when the people of God and, and you know what, that's the nucleus of everything that God has called me to teach from the beginning to now. Jesus said in John chapter 17, Father, make them one as you and I are one. And people of God, when we come together in unity and the Bible says when one rejoices, we all rejoice. When one weeps, we all weep. You know, when we come together like that and just really celebrate one another and, and be kind towards one another. You know, this world is so filled with chaos jealousy, envy, division, madness, hatred, right? It's us, the people of God, that's got to be kind, you know, and loving and affectionate one towards another. The word of God says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bonds of peace. And so if we could just come together and just do acts of kindness, you know, acts of appreciation, acts of love, acts of, you know, um, adoration, you know, if we could just do that, you know, we can be the light in this dark place, you know, and, and that's one of the things that you've oftentimes heard me say, you know, that my Facebook page and any social media that I'm connected to or my messages will not be messages of chaos and messages of drama and messages of hatred and stirring up hatred. No, no, I've been sent to teach the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the light. He is the light of the world. And so because of that, in every circumstance, we got to find peace. We got to find joy in every 
hopeless situation, we got to find happiness. And, you know, there are people who are stuck in the past. There are people who are stuck with the negativity and they can't get by those things. But for us that know the Savior, for us that knows our Lord, you know, come on, folks, we need to get it together. You know, and, and you know, how many times have have folks failed to say thank you and failed to say I love you and failed to say you're important to me and then when they go to the funeral they're falling apart they're falling apart because they never said those words and so I want to make sure that in my life I'm always saying thank you that I'm always appreciating those who are around me and those who have who God has used to help me be the man that I am to help me be better than what I could have been by myself. You know, um, no man is an island. <laughs> no man stands alone, but we all are standing on the shoulders of other people. And so let's realize that also somebody needs to stand on our shoulders. So we are part of this whole hierarchy. We're part of this whole legacy, the legacy of Christ. And so let us be kind one to one towards another. Let us be happy in our day. And if you're not happy, find somebody who is happy and, and, and absorb from them their happiness. Amen. And so, you know, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys. And thank you so much. Uh, we're going to begin our teaching again. Um, probably is it'll either be tonight or tomorrow. I have some things that I have to do today and run around, but I think it's going to be tonight we're going to begin our teaching again um, and get back on a regular schedule. For many of you know that for the month of usually August and September, um, and usually it's usually after July, you know, the towards the middle of July after the anniversary, I usually take a lot of time to sort of um, sit down and allow the Lord to speak to me without doing so much teaching. So that's why you guys haven't seen so many of my teaching videos is because I've been really spending more time in prayer and solitude with the Lord. And so, you know, but we, we are being released to get back into the, the saddle, so to speak. And so God bless you. Thank you so much. Once again, I love you all. You guys have no idea how much it really grips my heart to hear your words and to know your love. And so God bless you. Have a blessed and marvelous day in the name of Jesus. And know that if no one has told you this, I love you. I love you. God bless you.